Good evening. All across Europe and much of the rest of the world, COVID-19 infections are on the rise. 2021 called for survival in the midst of continued uncertainty. In a year that was tougher than anyone expected, together with our industry partners, we shared and faced a constant challenge. Through our many alliances, we continued to work together, quickly understanding and responding to the changing needs and the serious challenges engulfing every part of our tourism economy. With the support of government, we delivered seven different funding schemes and 75 million euro in tailored support. We continue to work with destination recovery task forces and local authorities across the country to help key tourism areas plan for recovery. We delivered relevant and practical business supports through our online business support hub with thousands of training days, suites of tailored supports and multiple practical training tools. As the situation shifted, so did we to make sure our sector remained open and customers stayed safe. We worked together with the tourism sector to instill confidence in the safety of our tourism and hospitality businesses. As our economy and our sector reopened, together we embraced the nation's newfound love of Ireland's great outdoors. With an investment of 45 million euro, we put in place outdoor infrastructure, enhanced outdoor dining and urban animation and supported the development of walkways, cycleways, greenways and blueways. The nation was inspired to discover Ireland with our relaunched website driving nearly 400,000 referrals to tourism businesses. Our 6 million euro marketing investment provided plenty of inspiration for planning. 44 million euro was invested in four new iconic immersive experiences. And together with our local stakeholders, we brought opportunities to life, creating world-class visitor experiences and making the most of our natural and cultural assets. Our comprehensive new plan for Dublin encouraged more visitors to our capital and created new ways of bringing the history, heritage and the culture of the city to life. Significant investment was made in specialised training and the digitalisation of visitor attractions and activities. As we emerge from survival and move into recovery, challenges remain. Together, we continue to work with businesses to address the labour and skills supply. But as we support industry facing into these challenges, we've also identified opportunities. We've worked with the Business Tourism and Golf Recovery Task Forces to agree priority actions for revenues over the years ahead. In 2021, we continued to build the pipeline of business tourism opportunities for Ireland, investing in our luxury offering and showcasing golf and leisure tourism, pitching for future business at virtual and in-person events. All of this was achieved together, and it has brought us closer than ever as an industry. Together, we have made it this far. We stand proud and resilient, and a little bit hopeful. We will move further into recovery in 2022 and bounce back stronger than before. We will achieve it together.